going to run into these different stores, see what I can find, and start putting things together. And so various are great gifts. Set it up. These Marimo balls, these things are super easy. Oh, and this is a tricolor jade. That yeah, I like the way the pepperomia looks in here. Anybody have some pothos laying around? Look at that. Hey, what's up, garden friends? Uh, this isn't typically how I would start a vlog, but I don't know if I'm gonna do what I'm doing now as the vlog or a different video. I'm at Five Below, and then I'm gonna go to Michael's and some other places. I thought it would be fun to do like a challenge sort of thing with some Valentine's Day planters. Last year, I did Valentine's Day planters, and then I was gonna release them on Valentine's Day and realized that that's pretty dumb because at that point, it's too late. So this year, doing it before Valentine's Day, I wanna try and do a $10 DIY gift, a 15, and then a 20 or 25. Haven't decided there on that one yet. Three different things. And so, uh, um, you just realize this can't be part of the vlog. That's gonna be different. Oh, okay, so, hey garden friends, how's everybody doing? I hope you're good, I'm great. Yeah, so obviously we're starting things off kind of vloggy. I'm going to run into these different stores, see what I can find, and start putting things together. That'll probably be a few minutes from now. All right, the music in here is way too long to vlog much, but I'm looking at mugs, not seeing anything that's really going to work, so I'm really into these rainbows, but yeah, they'd be kind of complicated. This is cute, but it's, it's glued in there. Oh my gosh, they have the cutest things. They don't apply to this video at all, but they're adorable. Ooh, okay, I found some more mugs. Oh, that's true, Wait, sadly. Oh my god. I mean, I need this, right? Also, that is not iridescent. It's definitely hollow. What the hell? Corpse Barbies? The blow did not have much. Any, anyone? Come on. So now I'm at Walmart. Look at these little faces, like Loretta's. Kind of nice looking. Really nice looking. Okay, all right. This is a mess. How do I get through here? Hey, they've got some all right looking stuff in here. Nice looking plants. Looking pretty good. This is Janet Craig's. Nice and full. Cool. Janet Craig's were in my houseplant haul were, I think, $3.98 and not even close to being this big. These are huge and they're only five bucks. That's a great deal, especially over here with these dracanios. I mean, hey, that's a... Look at that guy. Pretty big for five bucks. These Sansevierias are looking really nice too for five dollars. They're kind of wet though, which is concerning. Um, so the garden department at my Walmart has turned into the baby department. I assume that's just temporary because they're like between seasons. Oh, there's TVs. Yeah, that's not normal. That must be something unusual. I mean, it's a lot of baby stuff though have all these little buckets and things like that. A whole bunch of mugs. But the thing is with Valentine's Day, like I don't like to do things with something that you can only have out for like a week or two a year. Oh my god, that is beautiful. Oh, hey, you know what? True. There's a lot of vases here. The problem is, one, there aren't really prices on a lot of the ones I want, but they're not clear. Like, they're kind of clear. Do you see how there's like a texture to the glass? It's just, it's not very refined. I'm a, I'm really weird. I like my glass to be crystal clear and it's, eh, that's gonna drive me crazy. I think this is much better, but I feel like the price isn't really competitive with Michael's on that one. Okay, well, give it the good Walmart try. I'm gonna have to go to Michael's now. Here we go. I'm digging through, trying to find vases that aren't ripply. You know what I mean? It happens with all of them. It's not just a Walmart thing. Just kind of have to dig around. This one's not too bad. All right, and they have a bunch of really nice stuff way up high, but I can't... Nobody's that tall. I should get one of them down, but there's no price on it. It's very dusty. That's okay, though. I can clean it up. Okay, I love these. These are so cool. I don't know if they sink or not. That doesn't feel heavy enough to sink, but it shows them in that bowl there, so you would think that they would sink, right? Oh my gosh, wait, never mind. Yeah, $21, not happening. I, I do not understand why they don't have a cart return. Actually, yes I do, so they don't have to come outside and get carts. It, it makes sense. All right. Makes sense for them. I guess since I had to come all the way back over here, I may as well go to Dollar Tree. Not touching the doorknob. The guy who just walked out that door was coughing like crazy. So I hope he feels better, but I'm just now starting to feel better. My voice is still kind of going in and out. So, man, go figure. <laughs> in crystal clear. Okay, all right. For a dollar, not bad. Even these little guys, you know, you can buy these and just stick the other plant in its nursery can in there and give that as a gift. It's only a buck, that's fantastic. Not quite my color, but it works. These are cute. I like those. Oh, cute. 
What? What is it? Maybe it's a vase for like little bitty stems. Oh, obviously, need that. Man, they have the next size up too. I think I'm gonna be going and making some returns at Michael's. All right, I am home. It was kind of slim pickings, to be honest. I was really disappointed by what I was able to find out there for Valentine's Day. I did manage to pick up these vases though. Right here I have these two from the dollar store from Dollar Tree. Then I have these guys right here which are actually from Michaels. So had I known that Dollar Tree had them for a dollar, I would have just gone there to begin with. But I, I just instinctively thought, hey crafts, let's go to Michaels. So I will more than likely be taking these back. So for the first thing I wanted to do, I wanted to do one of those aquatic vase setups. I was going to pull the plants from my aquarium, but I just changed out my lights. So the plants are kind of recovering a little bit. Wow, that's a lot of reflection and things happening there. Just went ahead and picked up a plant from Petco, not really taking into consideration the size. So I am going to go ahead and use one of these vases from Michaels. Had I thought about the size, would have grabbed something smaller. This is a narrow leaf java fern, at least that's what they say here. It's a microsorum. I don't know for sure if this actually is a narrow leaf, like it has narrow leaves, but it doesn't look like, it doesn't look narrow leaf to me. But since this is being grown out of water, sometimes leaf shapes and things can be a little bit different. So I have my vase, I have my plant, now I need something to put in the bottom. Luckily, they also had these guys at the dollar store. Now let me show you the ones I got from Michaels. I was able to pick up this big jar from Michaels, but I think it was like $6.99, $7.99, something like that. Kind of an outrageous price for a jar of marbles or tumbled glass, whatever you want to call it, vase filler. Then I also grabbed one of these bags right here of the glass, which looks pretty similar to the one from the dollar store. A bit. Yeah, it is kind of prettier, but it was, I think, $3.99. So huge price difference between these products right here and these over here. I also picked up a heart on a stick, which is bent, and the other one broke on the car on the way home, so can't really do much with that. Oh, and I also picked this up from the dollar store. Isn't that cute? I think it's a ring holder. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it. It's just cute. It can go over here with the rest of my weird random things. So, since the point of this was to keep things cheap, I'm going to go ahead and use these things from the dollar store and uh, I'll just return these or use them for a different project. I am, however, using the vase from Michaels because the plant's not going to fit the vase I got from the dollar store. So a good way to prevent that bit from being an issue would be to just get the right size plant. All right, and to get this going, turn that upside down. Usually there's a piece of tape on these guys somewhere that you can just sort of pull off and the entire bottom will come off. I have, however, found it's much easier just to take a pair of scissors and get in there and start cutting that. Just have to be careful that you don't hit the roots of the plant. Oh, and do this over something so you're not gonna have mess everywhere. And go ahead and peel that back and pull that plant right out of there. Now there is kind of a little pot in there. Sometimes they won't come out with the pot that's in here. And that whole thing would come out if you took this out and you just cut that along the sides. The plant will come right out. All right, now I'm just going to take this to the sink, give it a quick rinse, get all the rest of that gel and perlite off of there. And then I'll go ahead and get this put into the vase. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put some of the pink and clear in here, trying to do it quietly to not drive everybody crazy. Come and pop open this bag of red and whatever. These other colors are clear and kind of an opaque white. And that's just clear. Drop some of those in there. Okay, and now this is going to be really tricky because my hand does not fit in here at all. This is the type of aquatic plant that has a rhizome on it. You can see that better right here. This rhizome, you don't want to submerge that. The gravel in here, these marbles, it is fairly loose, so I don't think it would necessarily kill it, but it would be better to mount this to something so it can stay above. So I'm gonna kind of brainstorm a little bit and see what I can do. I ended up doing here is I just kind of tilted it a little bit and used my scissors to sort of play with it. I just wanted to make it so that that rhizome wasn't being buried underneath these rocks, the marbles. Now I'm going to add water. This is just regular tap water. If you have water that's really high in TDS, calcium, something like that, that's going to leave a ring in these, then probably using a bottled water would be better. I didn't let the water sit, but it is close to air temperature. And right here I have some tap water conditioner and just the teeny tiniest amount of this is all that that needs. 
that's it. That's plenty. It does come in smaller bottles. I have these big ones to use for the pond that's at, over there in the background of my other fish tank. So you can see this one right here treats 9,460 gallons. So yeah, a small bottle would be fine. Or just put it in a jug, let it sit under the sink. That way we can adjust the temperature. Make sure the lid's off of the jug. That way the coin and everything can evaporate out of there. Now I'm just going to very, very slowly fill it up. I will probably need a little bit more water than I have here, but that's okay. Oh, and I did make sure to rinse out those stones before I put them in there. They were looking kind of dusty. I just didn't want that to make the water cloudy. All right, and there it is. That was easy and cheap. And you can see this plant barely fits in there. Ideally, this would be taller. Ideally, I would have just grabbed a smaller plant, but this works. The other thing I really like about having those marbles down there, when Valentine's Day's over, that's sort of an ongoing theme here is that once Valentine's Day's over, I like for things to be pretty easy to swap back out and make them so they're something you can use year round. And it would be very, very easy to just go ahead, pull those out, put some aquarium gravel in there. This is decorative gravel that you put on top of like planters. Whatever just looks pretty aesthetically pleasing to the home or wherever it's going. That's all that matters. I almost forgot. I have some Marimo balls here which uh, I just kind of think would be fun and pretty to have in there. They're gonna float around a little bit. Eventually they'll sink. They're sort of just fun, low maintenance. Also can take much cooler temperatures than the Java fern can. It's one of the issues with these glass aquatic gardens that a lot of the plants that go into them really would do better with proper lighting and circulating water and additional nutrient. You can put fertilizer tabs down in here. You can really even just use like a pinch of Osmocote, teeny, 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 tiny drop of like a liquid plant food is fine also, but it can cloud things up, which is also a reason putting a layer of carbon on the bottom will help keep the water from getting kind of gross and crusty and help prevent problems from arising just as far as the water getting gross. It should like make it last a little bit longer. Yeah, ideally, um, I think an Anubius that would do really well in here. This is fine temporarily. And even just saying, forget the plant altogether and just doing these Marimo balls, those look pretty cool. You can tie them to strings and put little teeny tiny pieces of styro on them and make them float at different levels. That looks really neat. That's not happening right now though. Anybody have some pothos laying around? I'm gonna head on back to mine. There's a piece on my plant that had some frost damage from it. So I thought this would be a good one to take off. I'm gonna go ahead and pop off some of these lower leaves here to expose a decent chunk of stem. That's the marble queen right there. And this leaf right here has a hole in it. So I might as well take that one off too. Why not? May as well keep it pretty. And then here's a piece from my neon green pothos. With this one, there are different ways I could go. I could go ahead and split this into two, but I just, there's not a ton going on here with this section. So I think instead I'm just going to like it with the other one pull those lower stems off or the lower leaves right from the petiole to the stem. And that's going to give me something to submerge into some water. Have all of these vases and all of these extra marbles, why not? Which by the I decided I'm just gonna keep calling these marbles. Is that okay with everybody? It's what my brain just wants to do, even though I know that it's vase filler, tumbled marbles, whatever you wanna call them. It's just not, my mouth doesn't wanna do it. Oh, I didn't really talk about what I was doing here, did I? So I went ahead, filled this up with the rest of my marbles. I did have to dip into some of the ones from Michael's, but with, you know, different planning, could have gone ahead and gotten enough from the dollar store to handle that. Typically, using a little bit of rooting hormone can be helpful. I don't have any laying around, so I'm just gonna go ahead and stick these guys down on in here. Typically, pothos are very forgiving plants. They tend to be really easy to propagate, so I'm not too concerned about it. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this on up with some water. Doesn't take very much. Some marbles displace most of it. And then now that these are in here, I can go ahead and manipulate them a little bit more easily around those marbles to make them sit the way I want them to, just to make it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. See, now that's what I call easy. And you can give the gift of cuttings. I really like that. It's really personable taking something from your own garden, giving it away. It might be seen as being kind of cheap, but I don't really think so. I think that this is pretty. It is something that's mostly sustainable for a lot of people, even people who aren't very experienced. It will be a little bit of a pain changing the water out, but once they've kind of put their roots out a little bit, you would just probably hold it like this over the sink, over strainer, dump that out and refill because you do want to make sure that that water gets changed out otherwise it gets kind of stagnant and gross. And then just a quick note on the Marble Queen Pothos. I have noticed they don't seem to root quite as easily as just your regular Golden Pothos. Even the Neon Green seems to root much more quickly so that might be a better option but I went ahead and used this because like I said it had some frost damage on it 
and I knew it was a lower leaf that I could remove, so I thought it would just look nice, and the colors go nice with those marbles. There you go, so far, so good. Oh, and with these other leaves, you could take those and stick them down in there. These little pieces, the petiole that's on here, that will root as well. And it's not clear enough that that's a Valentine's Day gift. You could always go ahead and jam one of those guys in there, obviously remove the tags and fix it so it's not all wonky falling over. But I think I'm gonna use these for something else, so I'm gonna hold on to this. Right. And before moving on from these guys, I did wanna mention that if you're unsure about what types of plants to use in something like this, you can just get online and Google like low-tech aquatic plants, low-light aquatic plants, low-flow aquatic plants, that sort of a thing, cool water aquatic plants, and that'll help kind of guide through what would be really suitable for the conditions the plant will be receiving. There are a lot of plants that would make an okay option for this. Like I said, just about any plant is going to do better where there's actually flowing water and proper lighting and nutrients available. There are fertilizer tablets you can stick down in here. The advantage to using aquatic plant fertilizer, those tablets is that they sink and they will stay down which is nice as opposed to, like I said, just putting a drop of Osmocote or a liquid fertilizer in there. So that's an option right there too. Oh, and these Marimo balls, these things are super easy, a little bit on the pricey side. I got this six pack of them from Petco for $10, which actually is a pretty good price, but they come in all different shapes and sizes and those really, uh, they're pretty low fuss, low maintenance. You can just kind of put them in there, make sure you change out the water occasionally. A really simple and easy plant to go ahead and do this type of arrangement with. Okay, now, here's what I got from Five Below. I got a mug. I also, well, actually I got two mugs, but I don't know if I'm gonna be using the other one. And then I picked up um, like a rainbow thing that I don't, it's probably in the video, but this is just a unicorn, a sleepy unicorn. For me, Valentine's Day is just kind of cute and whimsical. That's really all I go for. And as I've mentioned multiple times, I like to keep it simple. If I'm giving something to somebody as a gift, I want them to be able to use it in other ways. So uh, mugs and mug planters, I think are a great way to go. If the plant is going in here permanently, then it would be best to drill a hole in the bottom, which you can do with a diamond tip drill bit. Make sure there's water running as you drill through there. Adjust your pressure back and forth a little bit and it will go through very slowly and then you'll have a hole in the bottom. However, since, like I said, I want this to be sort of a temporary thing so the person can actually use this mug if they want to, what I'm going to do is fill it up a little ways with soil, and then I'm going to put the succulent in here, just right up top, just like that. If I let it go, that just kind of falls down in there, but I mean, even that looks kind of cute. Oh, and this is a tricolor jade, the Cressula Obliqua, Obliqua tricolor. This particular one is kind of thirsty. I did not have my lighting pointing at what I'm doing. That wasn't smart. Yeah, this one, kind of thirsty. We're just getting through that Arctic chill, so I had to skip watering with a lot of plants. Some things somewhat suffered, but nothing's in a state where it won't bounce back, but that Arctic blast really made it so I couldn't keep things hydrated very well. But this will hydrate back just fine. Really just like a good soaking, and it'll bounce right back. So, and I decide I'm actually gonna go ahead and use some of these leftover marble chips. I bought tons of these things for some projects a few months ago because they were like a buck a piece on clearance. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and use and lift this up and get it level with the top here. Just kind of work it around a little bit. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm just going to come in here and top dress it with these marbles. Hopefully enough that I can cover the black outline from the pot. I may have to do some adjusting to work that out. That was probably the easiest one so far. So that jade was $3.98. This was $5. Could have gotten a bag of those marbles for a dollar at the dollar store. So five, four, and one is 10. Not bad for 10 bucks. Like I keep saying, I like the things to not scream Valentine's Day. I like them to be universal. It's kind of the nice thing with crafts like these is that simple adjustments make these something that you could give any time of the year. Simply using different colored stones, that's really all you would have to do to make this an any occasion kind of thing. They're easy to swap out. They're multi-purpose. It's not something where it's just cute for a few days like a teddy bear holding a heart. They're just easy and not time consuming. Why am I talking like I'm done? I'm not done yet. But this jade that's in here, the tricolor jade. I thought that was a good option for this just because generally the jades are a slightly easier plant to grow for beginners. The main thing is that they don't get overwatered or else they will rot, which is why if it were planted directly into this mug, it needs a hole in the bottom. Like I said though, I don't want to do that because the person might want to use the mug. That's part of the gift. Can always give another small pot that's like a little terracotta pot for them to take this plant out of and set that into when they decide they want to use the mug. Pretty easy to find tiny little pots for a good price. Oh, and it's the colors. That's an important thing to mention, that those go well with this planter. I mean, mug. Okay, and there's really only a couple things left. I had planned on, like I said, trying to hit different price points with things, but after finding so much at the dollar store, 
I just don't think it's necessary to be spending a ton of money. Now at Walmart, for a dollar, I found something really cool. Look at that. Okay, technically not pink, white, or red, so not necessarily holiday themed, but it's just beautiful. I mean, look at that. That's absolutely gorgeous. And best part, 97 cents. It's metal. It does feel obviously pretty cheap. It was only a dollar. So I would imagine would rust out pretty easily. So succulents might be the best way to go for something like this because they don't be watered very heavily. A hole would need to be put in the bottom again, just like the mug, if it is going to be planted directly in here. This pail here just happens to be just the right size for a four inch plant, which means you can just drop it right in there. I mean, talk about easy and beautiful. There's a small dent in here that was my doing. I did that. Guess I should adjust so the dent isn't what everybody's saying. There we go. And who wouldn't think of that as an amazing gift just because, you know, hi, beautiful. If you've been around long enough, you probably know well enough that I wouldn't get just one of those pails. Of course, I got three of them, which is perfect because I just happen to have a whole bunch of plants and little four inch pots that'll slip right into these, no problem. Okay, the ivy doesn't really fit. I'm gonna grab a different plant. <laughs> That's not a four inch plot. Okay, so this doesn't quite fit, but I went ahead and I put some more stone in the bottom drop this in to make it level, and then can fill in the side with moss or something like that. I wouldn't fill in the edges with gravel because like I had mentioned, these aren't probably gonna hold up to water very well. So the plants need to be lifted out to be watered and then placed back in. But it's pretty easy to go ahead and just get some cheap sheet moss and kind of pack that in it to all the little nooks and crannies and just kind of fill it in that way. You just pull that out when it's time to water it. It's still kind of high maintenance, but it's pretty. That's all I care about. These Janet Craigs are really easy to care for plants. This is a really good gift plant to give someone. Obviously, as I mentioned, this one doesn't really fit in there, but that's all right. Just, you know, get one that fits. Small Sansevierias are also a good option. Speaking of which, but I think I would actually rather have something like a Peperomia in here. I think it would just look nicer. Yeah, I like the way the Peperomia looks in here. These are super easy to care for. As long as they don't get overwatered, they should do okay. They don't need a ton of light. They're not a super fussy plant. I did go ahead and just kind of pop this one in here without its pot. Because yeah, the pot it was in just didn't quite have the right shape to it. Wasn't as angled as the others. All right, now I'm just, oh, come on, focus. Come on. Right, go ahead and fill this in and uh, editing Jeff here. I was just working on the video and then noticed that there's an entire clip missing. I don't know why. Uh, the only thing that's missing is I pulled this Sansevieria out that I picked up from Walmart that was in the beginning of the vlog where I showed that. Only five bucks, so that's a fantastic deal. Sansevierias are great gifts. And that clip that's missing, I pulled it out of the pot to start planting it and then chuckled at the fact that it has like no roots on it and said something like, well, you get what you pay for. Okay, back to what I was doing in the video. Right, go ahead and fill this in and I will top dress it with more of those marbles and be done. Yep. There it is. Nothing says Valentine's Day like the gift of humor. And Sansevieria is so easy to grow. Great gift plant to give to people. Uh, ideally, this would have a hole in the bottom, but I just kind of wanted to be dumb and put it in the video, so I tossed it in there. I believe this is four inches in diameter, so a four inch pot would slide right in there, could be lifted out to water the plant and put it back in. I'm a big fan of using mugs for gifts. It's just so easy and cheap. And as I had mentioned before, it is so easy to swap these things out and make them something that you can have around all year long. Okay, that was just dumb. I was just being stupid, but I meant it. Humor goes a long way. Oh yeah, remember the stick broke off of that? Well, you know. I think that that actually, that fits in right there. That's perfect, just like that. Overall, I actually think these two out of everything, these are my favorite and they were very, very cheap to do. I mean, that hollow though, oh my gosh, so pretty. But as far as things to have around the house, I think these look the best. Obviously, probably not that one. Okay, that's gonna do it. Just a few quick, easy, crafty type things to do. Nice, easy gifts to give. And really, ultimately, just fun things to have around. Yeah, I didn't end up going the expensive route with any of these. It just didn't seem necessary, like I said, with the things I was finding at the dollar store. You could do anything pretty cheap if you're shopping at the Dollar Tree. I hope everybody's doing well. Having a great time, great life. Everything's just going wonderfully for you. Don't forget to like the video. It helps a lot means a lot to me. I do notice and appreciate it. So thank you very much for doing so. And subscribe as well. I upload multiple times a week. So don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you know when new videos come out. You can hit me up on Instagram. You can comment down below. It's at Tropical Plant Party. The rest of my social media is linked in the bottom as well. The bottom, I mean the description of the video. Follow me and I'll follow you back. I love having fun nerdy plant time with everybody. Seeing everybody's pictures, what kind of fun crafty things y'all got going on. And as always everybody, most importantly, keep on growing. Bye bye.